Now, since we know about the functions, let's go through some more techniques regarding the invocation of a function. So, we do have the concepts of call by value and call by address in C programming. In this video particularly, we will cover call by value which is also a default way to pass the values in the method argument. So, basically whenever you define a function like here you can see int x and int y. So, generally we call it the formal arguments. When you define a function, the arguments which you pass are the formal arguments. Why we call it formal? Because currently int x and int y is not having any value right it's just for the structures I mean signature purpose so they are not carrying any value they are just formal arguments but by the time i will call this swap method i have passed a couple of values again of integer type that is a and b and both a and b are having some values inside right so this swap means this a and b are actually carrying a value from the very beginning while x and y are not so these are the actual parameters and these are the formal parameters. When I say call by value means the value of these will be copied in the formal parameters. So as uh, if I follow the sequence as well, the value of A will be copied to X, value of B will be copied to Y as per the first argument and second argument. And as soon as values are passed, this process will be done and the things whatever we are doing here we are swapping the values that is A will be getting the value of B, B will be getting the value of A. That will be done and it will be printed here. Alright, so this is about the swapping here. But make sure when we are do, uh, using the return keyword I have not written any particular value. Since the return type of this swap method is of void type so it will not return any value. So even if you want you can uh, remove this keyword but here the purpose is just to show that you can use a return keyword inside the function of void return type but you cannot pass any value after return. So let's see a practical implementation of call by value in methods. So here in call by value you can see it's the same example which we have already seen in the presentation. So there is a swap method which will take two numbers in arguments like int x and int y. So whenever I will call this particular method, I will pass the value itself. So the value from a and b will get copied in the x and y respectively. And whenever you will do the swapping inside it, as here you can see there, is a, there are three statements basically which are swapping the value from x to y. So this is what we are doing it here. But as we see, like whenever I'm defining the variables a and b, they are taking their separate four bytes in the memory. And these x and y's will also take the four byte each. So whenever the swapping will be done, the values will be swapped in between a, so between x and y. But the value of a and b will remain same because if you will make any changes in x and y, they will have their separate copy of values and they, that will not affect the values which are stored in a and b. So even before swap method call and after swap method call, you will observe the values are same. Like initially a was 100, b was 200 and even after swap it is a 100 and b 200. So basically whenever you want to make a separate copy of values in the formal and actual parameters you can go for the call by value as this is the default way to call any method by passing the parameters.